Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of TechNeed. Today, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step guide of how to configure network bonding in Linux. In our previous lesson, uh, we looked at what network bonding is and what network teaming is. And we also ascertained the fact that these two are different things entirely. So network bonding is actually different from network um, teaming. And we also looked at the step-by-step -step guide of how to configure network teaming in Linux. So in this video, um, we are going to be looking at the step-by-step -step guide of how to configure network bonding using the NMT UI utility. So what I'm going to be doing is to drop the link to this website and to this particular um, lesson in the description section below so that you can easily navigate through. You can easily check um, the differences between network teaming and bonding. You can easily check what network teaming and, net and what network bonding are if you don't really have the um, knowledge. And where well, you can also easily check the different steps, the different ways you can configure network bonding and network teaming, where well, you can always use the NMTUI utility, the CLI utility, the um, network script utility, the GUI utility, you know. So there are different ways this can be done. But um, for the purpose of this lesson, let's just go to the step-by-step -step guide of how to configure network bonding in Linux. So let's confirm the NICs that we have on the system. So you can see that I have um, the ENS33 NIC. I also have the ENS34 and the ENS35. So what I'm going to be doing is to bond these two interfaces together, which are the ENS33 and ENS34, all right? Um, ENS33 is already carrying an IP, but that's fine. By the time we bond these interfaces together, um, this should not be there any longer. And we're going to be doing this using the NMTUI utility. So I'm going to launch the interface for the NMTUI with the NMTUI command. And I'm going to say edit a connection. So on ENS33, I'm going to say hard and I want to configure bond. So if you want to configure team, you can choose team. But in this case, we're, we are configure, we're going to configure rather bond. So I'm going to say create. And the bond connection, um, I can give this bond one. That's going to be the connection name, which is also the same thing as the profile name. And the device name is also going to be called bond one. All right. So I can add the bond slave. So here I can say add. So this is going to be Ethernet. And uh, for the profile name, I can add ENS33, ENS33. This is going to be OK. And also, um, we have, let me confirm that again. Uh, let's say new window. So I just want to confirm the Unix again. ENS33 and ENS34 is what we're going to be adding. So ENS33 and I'm going to say ENS34. ENS ENS ENS34. So this is going to be okay. So these are the slaves, all right? And this is the uh, bond called bond one. And you can see that this is um, round robin. So I can give it any mode I wish to um, give it. Like I told you that in the bonding, it is called uh, mode. While in the teaming, it is called um, runners. So I can either choose round robin or, or active backup. All right, so or whichever mode I wish to choose. So let's choose active backup. And I also need to configure an IP address on that um, bond interface. So it is on automatic. I need to change this to manual. And from manual, I can say show. And then I can configure the IP address. So here, yeah, this thing is just jumping. Well, let's just manage it like this. So I'm going to say 192.168. 72.134 all right i also need to give it um 
the subnet so this is going to be slash 24 and if i have a gateway of course i can also add the gateway if i have um, a dns i can also add the dns so for the gateway i can say 192.168.72.1 all right so this is it and um yeah that's all that's all so i can say okay press enter so you can see that the bond one has already been created and then i need to say back and quit quit okay so if i do an mcli connection show let's even see what we have here so i have the ens33 and ens34 interfaces and they are up so if i do let's go to the configuration file this config network script so i'm having um bond one all right ens331 and ens3 ens341 so these are being created from these two interfaces so what i can do is to just rename it back all right so i can just say uh, move ifcfg ens ifcfg ens 33-1 well if you wish you can leave it but i just love to rename it back because um, I don't want some sort of um, conflict in my environment. So that's why I love to rename it back. So this is going to be um, ENS333. Yes, I'm going to overwrite it. And I'm also going to do that for ENS34. So if I do LS, so everything seems to be normal now. I have the bond one interface ens33 interface and ens34 interface so i can restart the network manager restart um network manager for red at seven you should also restart the network service so now if i do an mcli connection show all right so it's okay and if i do ip a I should be able to see that this is fine. So for the ENS33, it's still carrying this IP. And um, for bond one, it's carrying our IP. So what we need to do is to restart the interfaces. So I can say NMCLI connection down, down ENS33, ampersand, ampersand, NMCLI connection up. ENS33. So I'm going to do that for ENS34 as well. And I'm also going to do that for bond one. So these are all the interfaces that are related to bond one. So I just want to make sure that all the interfaces are being restarted. So if I do IPA again, let's see. ENS33 is no longer carrying that IP. You can see that it is already a slave and it is up. All right. And you can see that the master is bond one. The same thing is applicable to ENS34. It is a slave to uh, bond one and it is up. All right. It is up. So if you look at uh, bond one as well, you should see that bond one is carrying that IP address that we wanted to carry, which is dot one. 34 all right so this is how you can always configure bonding in linux and of course if you do um cat proc net bonding bond one you can see the uh bond you can see the bond interface and the bond state so you can see here that we are doing active backup and the primary, the current active slave is the ENS33, all right? So if the ENS33 goes down, then what happens is that the ENS34 takes over, all right? So you can see the um, state of the network bonding um, by using this command. So depending on the, on the name you give to your bonding. So this is how you're going to 
um, configure network bonding in Linux. Like I said, I'll be dropping the link to this website in the description section below so you can easily navigate through the article. And I'll also be dropping in the description section below, I'll also be dropping the link to how we created the network teaming in Linux. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is how you can motivate us to do more and bye for now.